Hello, and welcome to Teach Me Animated Math. In this video, we will discuss what is the order of operations in mathematics. There are expressions that cover many operations. It can be confusing, but when this happens, all we have to do is follow the order of operations in math. This is the convention people agreed upon long ago to avoid any confusion when doing their calculations. Without this, people with different answers make math problems go viral. So what is this order of operations that we need to learn? First, we check the expression for any grouping symbols. These include parentheses, brackets, braces, absolute value lines, fraction bars, radicals, or other grouping symbols. After that, we evaluate any expressions that use exponents. Then, we perform multiplication or division in order from left to right. Last, we do addition or subtraction in order also from left to right. Let's try an example. Following step 1, we start with the innermost grouping and work our way outwards. This fraction is the innermost grouping, so we need to simplify it first. Let's start by simplifying the denominator. We still need to follow the order of operations. Step 1. Simplify the expression inside the absolute value symbol. Steps 2 and 3 don't apply here, so we go straight to step 4. 6 minus 5 is equal to 1. The absolute value of 1 is 1. Now we've removed the absolute value symbol. Then we simplify the numerator, also following the order of operations. Step 1. Simplify the expression in the parentheses. Step 2. Evaluate the exponent. Step 3. Perform the multiplication. Step 4 doesn't apply, so we can continue to follow the order of operations for our fraction. Now we can simplify our fraction of 5 over 1 to just 5. A fraction can be thought of as a division operation. Then we work our way outwards. Simplify the expression in the square brackets. First, we need to simplify the radical, square root of 4. Steps 2 and 3 don't apply here, so we use step 4 to simplify 2 plus 5. This gives us the value of 7. We work outwards again to simplify the equation in the curly braces. Like earlier, we can go to step 4. Perform subtraction or addition from left to right. This gives us negative 3. Now our whole expression is 1 times 2 minus negative 3. Removing the curly braces, our expression is now 1 times 2 plus 3. Step 2 doesn't apply here, so we can move to step 3. One times two is two, so our expression is now equal to two plus three. The order of operations has helped us simplify the very long sample expression. Finally, applying step four for addition, our answer is five. 
For these steps, some people use the acronym PEMDAS. This stands for parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, and subtract. Others use the acronym BEDMAS. This stands for brackets, exponents, divide, multiply, add, and subtract. Others use the acronym BODMAS. This stands for brackets, orders, divide, multiply, add, and subtract. You can even use your own acronym to remember, as long as you don't forget the proper order of operations. Think of these steps as the operations having priority levels or ranks. You will end up having the same answer as long as you perform operations with these ranks or levels in mind. The highest level is simplifying grouping symbols. Then follows evaluating exponents. Multiplication and division are on the same priority level. And finally, addition and subtraction are on the bottom level. You can perform same level operations following the properties of real numbers. Consider this alternate solution to our given problem. We can multiply 1 times 2, then stop because subtraction is a different level. 1 times 2 equals 2. Next, we can use the commutative property inside the curly braces. We can add 3 plus 1 within the curly braces. But we can't do anything else until these square brackets are removed. Three plus one is equal to four. We can go ahead and remove the curly braces using the distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. Then, we can subtract 2 minus 4. 2 minus 4 is equal to negative 2. We can remove the square brackets using the distributive property again. Then, we evaluate the radical square root of 4 to get 2. And we can add negative 2 plus 2. This is equal to 0. When you add 0 to a number, the result is that number. Simplify the expression inside the parentheses and simplify the expression in the absolute value symbol. The absolute value of 6 minus 5 is 1, and 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Remember, we still need to follow the priority levels for the order of operations. 4 minus 3 all raised to 2 is not the same as 4 raised to 2 minus 3 raised to 2. Simplifying the parentheses has a higher level than evaluating the exponent. So we do that first. Now we can evaluate the exponent. 1 squared is equal to 1. Perform the multiplication. 5 times 1 is 5. And then simplify the fraction. This gives us the same answer, 5. Just make sure you only apply same level operations at any given step. 
and always prioritize the higher level operations over lower level ones. The best way to confirm your answers is to follow the order of operations in mathematics. Here are a couple of problems you can practice on. Try them out and comment your answers below. Go to our solve along video to see if you are correct. You will also see more exercises and solutions. And there you have it for the order of operations. Please like and subscribe. View our real number line playlist for other videos in this series. Thanks for watching!